Hi, I'm Rosie, a senior product engineer here at Zero Height, and today I wanted to show you around the new and updated adoption features. The adoption area of Zero Height is there to help you understand how your design system is being adopted in the code. It's made up of three different areas, the first of which is package adoption. This tool allows you to understand what version of your design system is being used across your other code bases. The second of which is component usage. This area allows you to understand which of your design system components are being used in the code. Finally, we have color usage. This allows you to see whether non-token color values are being used in your code base, looking specifically at raw values such as hex, RGB, and various other formats. Let's jump in and see how you can get this set up for yourself. On the first page, you'll have to decide how you'd like to set this up. The first option is via the CLI tool. This allows for the most flexibility and therefore is the one we would recommend. You can also set up using an existing Git integration if you would like to via the code repos option. Finally, if you distribute your design system package via NPM, you can also go down this route. For the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to run through how to set up the CLI tool. The first thing you'll be asked to do is install the CLI tool. This allows you to run it on your local machine. Once you've installed the tool, you'll be asked to create an authentication token. This allows your local machine to talk to ZeroHight and send the data back and forth securely. Once you hit generate, you will then be given your auth credentials. You can use these to set up your authentication locally. As you can see, it's asked for my client ID, which I can copy in. It is also then asked for my access token. You should treat these as if they're a username or password and therefore should keep them secure. As you can see here, the CLI is now authenticated with zero height and I can save my credentials locally. Once I've hit continue, I'm then asked if I'd like to track my design system packages. My design system is made up of two different packages and therefore I would like to track both. When I run that command, it finds the name and version of my current package and I can send that through to zero height. I will also run the same command in my other package. Perfect. Now, moving on. The next stage is monitoring the repositories that use the design system. I then need to run all these three commands to get the correct data coming through. As you can see here, they all track different things. One is to understand the version of the package we're using. Another is to understand how the components from my design system packages are being used. And the other is for color usage. These can be run via two different commands. Once it is done, you'll see that you have all green ticks and you can hit finish. And then you can see all of your data has come through. Now that we have the data in, we can jump into each of the different sections. First, let's take a look into package adoption. You can see here we have two different packages, my flapjack components and flapjack tokens, and you can see the repositories which are using them. You can also see which version is in use. Currently, all of mine are completely up to date. However, if they weren't, these would show as warnings, so you can go away and talk to the team and ask them why they may not be. The second area to look at is component usage. As you can see here, I have three different components, and I can see how many times they're being used. If I jump into an individual component, I can see how this changes over time, and I can also dive down into the properties and take a look at, for example, what types of text inputs people are using. As you can see here, passwords most frequently used and number is the least commonly used. Finally, we can jump into color usage, and this will show you the amount of raw color values being used in your repository. You can even dive in and see which colors those are exactly, and take a look and see where you've got similar values, where you may be able to benefit from adding a token or informing your team that you already have tokens. Some of this tooling requires technical setup, and therefore we'd recommend getting your developer involved super early in the process to see if you can get these set up as part of pipelines. That means the data being pushed through to your adoption dashboard would stay up to date and give you the latest information possible. Overall, we hope you enjoyed the new adoption features in Zero Height. And as always, if you have any feedback, get in touch.